Today we're gonna make maccheroni al ferro with porcini and sausage. It's a homemade pasta from the region of Calabria, the south of Italy. So we're gonna make some homemade pasta with semolina and water and then a nice porcini mushroom and sausage ragu. Now let's get cooking. Adesso andiamo a cucinare. Now we're gonna start making the pasta with the semolina flour. So this semolina, it's called the semolina rimacinata. It's milled two times. And the reason it's so fine is actually easier to work with your hand. Now we're gonna make a hole, almost creating a volcano. We make a space so we can pour warm water in it. And it's warm because it makes it easier to work. Now we put a little bit of olive oil. Once I put the oil, now we're gonna start mix it up nicely, really slowly. We're just gonna mix it up the semolina with the water. The more patient you are, the better the water will amalgamate with the semolina. So I use it with a fork, slowly add a little bit of semolina. What you want to keep in mind when you're making pasta dough, is like you want to create a, a consistency like a, you're thinking you're making Play-Doh. We're gonna keep working until it becomes really hard to work with your forks, the wicks, to mix the water and semolina. You can also do this process with your hand, but with a fork it's better because it's less messy, otherwise all the dough sticks to your hands. Makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. We know we have a right consistency when the pasta or the dough, it's not wet anymore, it's not sticky anymore. Now we're gonna work the dough by hands for five minutes until it's nice and smooth. We put it right here on the countertop. What I do, I start pulling the dough. The reason I pull the dough is because the semolina and the water will incorporate much better together. It's like making massage. The more you work it, the smoother it becomes, the easier and the better the pasta will taste. Now this is a typical making semolina pasta. Semolina water is typical in particular from the south of Italy. And most of the semolina in Italy grows in my region, which is Puglia, the southeast of Italy. Of course, for me, the most beautiful part of Italy. <laughs> I always tell people, it's always better to make a homemade pasta. Even if you make a mistake, it still will taste better than a store-bought pasta. So now that I have the pasta dough, it's a nice uh, log. So I'm going to cut in disc. Because then I'm going to make some uh, long cylinder. I'll make another one. I'm going to clear all the semolina from this part of the counter. Why? We want to make sure that when we make the long cylinder, if you have semolina, the pasta won't grip, it will slide. In this case, it's clear of semolina, so I'm just gonna put a pressure on and create this long cylinder. Beautiful. There we go, all this, they're gonna come here all together. What we're gonna do now, we just roll them nicely so they absorb all the semolina. We wanna make sure it's well coated in semolina. We do this so the long cylinder don't stick to each other. That's a really important step. So now we, put it, we bring this cylinder close to me now we're gonna cut the pasta because this is already a pasta. So we're just gonna do a kind of a, around half inch pieces. Now we're gonna make the pasta, that's the fun part. So what I do, I take like a little piece of a, I will call like of dough, put the wood, put a little bit of pressure on it and now I'm gonna start rolling this piece of dough around the wood stick. Put some pressure but not too much otherwise you'll break the pasta. You see, and that's the pasta al ferro, right here. I like about homemade pasta because it doesn't look perfect. Imperfect, homemade. And all this kind of a little impurity, I will call, it will make it carry the sauce much better. Plus, it will give you a great consistency.